stop this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else. Really? Then please, excuse me. Battle formation! Soldiers! <laughs> Cascade! Report to Master right away. Hey, get back here! No need to follow them. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but in all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm. Where did it end up? What the? It's a tanuki? Oh, do tell Paimon that the Tanuki took it! Let's follow it and see. Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait! You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They... it's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We know about all that. Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must devise sufficient countermeasures. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? This situation has consequences for the whole Tri-Commission, and the stability of all Inazuma is at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. The Almighty Shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a Commissioner, I am a servant of the Shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, that's true. Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Traveler, Paimon, let's get out of here. Well... If it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. As a responsible official of Inazuma, I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer, but the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. 
Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and start spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say, the poor lady was terrified. So, you're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions? Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan, Lady Horagi will always be the daughter of the Horagi clan and the most distinguished member of the Konjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this guard show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset our lady. How could one do such a thing? Even if we put it down to a rare moment of impulsivity. I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rushing to his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. Funny. I'm suddenly reminded of an anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Yashiro Commission. Every day I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual avians. Uh, keep them as pets. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever, and certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the most to say, but don't be deceived as it chirps away, lest the song it sings lead you astray. You... I say, Yashiro Commissioner, are you here simply to mock the Kanjo Commission? Far from it. In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals, upright and forthright, conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering, all as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Ugh. Dear me, I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play these petty power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is, at most, a Kanjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold, then, as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Kanjo Commission and Tenryo Commission, because the new balance of power in the Tri Commission would be a threat to you personally. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. Hm. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, 
You clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri-Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. All of Inazuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Huragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly we see eye to eye. I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Uh, but it seems that I was gravely mistaken. Kami Sato Ayoto! You! How dare you! You've made your move. Now, I suppose it's time I made mine. What do you mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm? Goodness me. Well, I've learned a great deal from talking to you. That will be all for now. If you would excuse me, I shall take my leave. Hey! Hey! What was all that? Pyron didn't follow at all. They had their scheme, but fortunately I was prepared. As I said, they ended up coming out from the shadows and revealing themselves. Let's see how things are in Inazuma City. Then, I'll take you through the details of my plan. <gasps> hmm. Look at this. The daughter of the Kanjo Commission's Haragi clan and the master of the Tenryo Commission's Kujo clan are getting married. <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match, don't you think? For sure. I'm just surprised. It seems very sudden. I hadn't heard a single word about it until now. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. Looks like the wedding is definitely going ahead. It's still too early to make that conclusion. Our adversary wants to push this marriage past the point of no return. However, we can still beat them at their own game. But only if Kujo Kamaji is willing to help us. <laughs> <laughs> 